In general, approaching your guitar, tune your guitar before you play. Um, turn a metronome on and do your quarter notes, quarter notes and eighth notes. And depending on where you are in your, in your learning and comfortability, quarter note, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Master finger exercise number one with down picks, then number two, then number three. Then start working on alternating picks. Practice with a metronome. Do some hand exercises. Don't overstretch ever. Stretching is good, but don't overstretch. Watch how you're grabbing things just in general for longevity of hand health. Um, I do yoga every day. I drink three glasses. I just fill up three mason jars every day and drink them. I do drink too much coffee. You know, I don't, I have, I've been sober for 11 years, so it's coffee and water. That's it. And, um, walk, you know, get, um, literally, uh, I do a, I play the hand pan and I do a lot of meditation and healing music and I, and I play a lot of hand pan gigs for yoga class. I do a uh, healing music with the yoga instructor and I do the broadcast uh, out of my studio here. Sometimes we'll do three or four classes a week. And then I play for the arts and healing uh, uh, program through the Cincinnati Arts Association. And so I do a lot of hand pan, and uh, one of the things that the, the lady who's a uh, nurse practitioner always says during class is that motion is lotion, and that's very, very true. Get out and take a walk. Get up away from your computer. Get out and take a walk. Uh, also, sometimes people will say, should I ever practice standing up? Strap on your guitar and walk around the, the house and, and play. Don't just maybe necessarily get up and stand. Uh, you can. You know, but, but make sure you're moving, okay? Because in, in the God, 30 years that I toured nonstop, it was a physical job. And every decade, I had to really do a reset and get more and more healthy because I started out, you know, I was a wild child. So we want to take care of ourselves, okay? Because guitar is a very physical instrument. And when you're playing, you want to make sure that you get in position to where you can reach whatever it is that you're playing. People tend to want to sit how they're sitting, be really stiff, and, oh, they can't reach things. And they think that, oh, I can't do this. It's like, you know, if uh, I threw, if I wadded up a $100 bill and threw it at you and made it a little out of reach, boy, you'd get that. <laughs> so, you know, wherever this is, you know, drop your shoulder, get your, your elbow down, get underneath the guitar to do some of these things, okay? Make sure that the way you're sitting isn't inhibiting anything that you're doing, all right? So I just wanted to share these things because I find that these are little things that uh, can be a mystery. You know, a lot of people like, tell me about the rhythm exercises. Tell me how you hold your hand. Uh, you know, when I watch them try to play their rhythm exercise, they're not, you know, it, it's, it's not translating what I've put out there to, you know, here's how you do it. And I guess there hasn't been enough information for some people that it's really new to. Um, again, I grew up playing piano, playing music. A lot of this stuff just became second nature because I always did it. Um, so, you know, I just want to make sure that everybody, whatever level you're at, um, and some people are raised in musical families, some people aren't. So, when are you jumping on the guitar train? What is your background? You know, do you have much musical background? Um, it's not a one size fits all. This is how to play the guitar. It's like, wait a minute, this is music. What do we know about music? What do we know about rhythm? What do we know about feel? How healthy are our hands? How strong are we? Uh, I'm a female. I'm not as strong as guys. My style is different. I have to overcompensate in some ways. So we're all very different, you know. Um, some people have long fingers, some people have short stubby fingers, uh, you know, I, we're all different, you know, some people are, are tall and thin and, and, and long waisted. Some people are not, they're heavier, they're maybe more short waisted. So how do we sit? There's not a one size fits all for any of this, but there are a one size fits all 
generalizations, you know, at least from each teacher. How I teach things will be, you know, what has worked for me. And all I can do is share with you what has worked for me and the path that I've been on. So steal everything that you can from me. And if there's some things that don't fit or, um, you know, you've gone as far as you can go, well, there's a million guitar players out there or guitar teachers. So always make sure that, um, that you take everything in the context in which it was delivered, okay? Uh, just one thing, uh, one final thing. You must hold your pick with these two fingers. Keep your hand open. Well, Eric Clapton and, and, and Eddie Van Halen held their pick with these two fingers. and They did pretty well for themselves, <laughs> okay? So, you know, there's exceptions to every rule. So practice hard. Make sure you're warming up. And you can do a warm-up. If you get these finger exercises down, you can run through one of them in five minutes. Uh, if you really get them down, you can run through all of them, you know, do all three of them every day and, uh, and incorporate your rhythm exercise kind of into the, the pulse of the, of the exercises that you're playing where you don't have to sit and do your rhythm exercise a lot, except you do want to get used to holding onto this pick and loosening up your right hand. So that's where you would start doing these rhythm exercises for a different rhythm reason. Okay. Um, but you want to create a pulse and you want to feel it in your body. You're the one playing. And so, um, I'll leave you with this. If I'm playing, Hey Joe. how much I'm leaving out but as long as I'm moving you hear the song it keeps going but if I was I, it doesn't work that way we've, we've got to kind of ride this guitar you know and and we're creating music we're moving energy um, if I feel it you will feel it if I don't feel it you won't. So we want to make people feel. Okay. So we want to get comfortable enough on our guitar to where we can execute what we're trying to do and uh, do it with precision, but with feel. I'd rather hear a wrong note in time because then you can just play the next note any direction. If you do it in time, people don't necessarily know you just did anything wrong. But if you play a right note out of time, there's, <laughs> it's hard to fix that. And people feel that, you know, um, anytime you play, anytime you make a mistake, keep going, plow right through it. Like you meant it. Uh, sometimes repeat it like you really meant it, you know, and then it'll kind of get erased from people's wonder what that was subconscious. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop here. Peace. Practice hard. And remember, what you practice is how you develop the skills that you need to go play. So if you're spending all your time playing with just a little bit of practice, you're putting the cart before the horse. It will take 10 times as long. Break it down, practice it, get these things in your DNA, and you will have the, what will seem like talent. You'll have the skills developed to now go play anything. But if you're trying to learn individual songs, which a lot of teachers do, they teach the student, well, I want to learn these songs. So they teach them to them. And I don't do a lot of that. I make sure we're learning uh, templates and foundational stuff and skills and techniques. So my job is so you don't need me, you know, running around trying to teach you every single song you ever wanted to learn well, that's great, but I'd rather teach you how to play so you can go play any song you want to play. So you have the ability to learn it. 
yeah, I'll teach as much as I can that people want to play, but I don't go around trying to make everybody happy by teaching them every song they ever wanted to play. I want to get them playing a guitar so they can do that on their own and so they can learn how to learn, okay? All right, take care.